What's going on guys? So I've been getting a few uh, emails, messages, and comments about uh, handlebar setup and control setup. And you hear about this a lot with dirt bikes. It's called the rider triangle, your seat, your handlebars, and your foot pegs. Um, the same thing applies to a quad pretty much. As you can see on this one, it's stock foot pegs and stock seat. But as far as the handlebars go, I do get a lot of uh, questions on my setup here. So I'll kind of start with the handlebars there. I, I, I really like the Flex uh, 15 degree uh, quad racer bend. Uh, on this quad, I happen to have the quad racer low um, because I have a two a plus two stem. And on that one, I have the quad racer high because it's a plus one stem. So that's kind of my handlebar setup, but the bend is the same. And I like that 15 degree. It kind of brings the bars back to you a little bit so you're not as stretched out. Um, and this is especially important if you have a Yamaha. They have a they have a little bit larger uh, cockpit, as they say, and uh, it's nice to have the bars come back to you just a little bit. You don't want like a crazy sweep. You can see it's not like a crazy sweep. It's just a nice comes back to you nice. So that's kind of where I always start on every quad. Um, if you like Pro Taper, uh, ATV Low is probably as as close as you're going to get to the same um, sweep as this. So. That's kind of where I go with that. Uh, next in line would always be, I always like uh, my ODI lock-ons. I either go with ODI Ruffian or ODI Rogue. Uh, I've really been liking the Rogue. And I do go with the smaller, I believe it's 110 millimeter, just to give me more room on the bars for uh, hand guards and uh, start button, clutch lever, all that good stuff. You can, if you have enough room on your bars, run the bigger ones. Those are obviously going to give you more hand room. So. Um, but I always like those ODIs. They're easy to put on, change them once a year. They wear really good. They don't move. You don't need glue. You don't need safety wire. Excellent product. Uh, next in line, if, if, you're, <clears throat> if you've been around the quad world for a while, you'll know that most quads come with this pretty large multi-switch right here that usually controls the headlights, the high-low beams, the on-off switch, start button, sometimes other things too. In this case, uh, Suzuki on the Z and the LTR, they like to have the clutch, the uh, clutch lever or clutch, not clutch lever, choke lever up here. <laughs> so uh, I get rid of all that. I don't think it's needed. Uh, on this quad, of course, I'm running the FCR, so it already has a pull style choke right there. Um, but for the stock Makuni BSR 36, they also make a pull style choke. So you can always uh, pick up one of those on eBay. Just type in LTZ. Uh, or DRZ pull choke, and you should be able to find it. If not, go to Advantage Cycle, email Paul, he'll hook you up with one. He's he's a good guy. So uh, then you can look up how to do the blob delete. Uh, that's what we like to call them, the blob, these big things. I like to use a dirt bike kill switch for a start button. It just makes the process so much easier. If you get stuck on a hill climb, boom, you just hit one button and you're, and you're going again. Some companies make plug and play kits. I always solder in my own. Uh, if you Google uh, LTZ 400 blob delete, you should, you'll find a picture on Google Images that shows you which wires to solder and cut and uh, everything like that. It's, it's a really simple deal. Um, so if you guys have any questions about that, leave, leave a comment down below. Uh, I'll, I'll put my email in the description too if you guys need help with anything. I can help you with that as well. For the clutch lever... I always like a works connection style lever. Um, I've always I always like those, but uh, in the most in the recent years, I've really I really like these Pro Taper profiles. They're about sixty five bucks uh, on Amazon or Rocky Mountain, and uh, they're just an excellent clutch lever for the money. They got a roller bearing in here, uh, and everything. It's a it's a quick adjust or uh, adjust on the fly. Uh, can't really see it from there, but quick adjust on the fly and everything is sealed. I don't know if you can see that, but even this boot goes all the way. That's where the cable goes through right there. And even that's sealed. So this thing's a hundred percent sealed and you got a ton of adjustments. As you can see, you got adjustment there um, to, to, to bring the lever closer or further away. So these are just a really good lever for the money and they're just so smooth. Um, on this quad, I would say it's almost as smooth as like a Magura hydraulic clutch. It's, it's really that good. Next in line, I like these Power Mad uh, Star Series hand guards, the flag style. I don't like wraparounds. Uh, if you're only riding motocross, you really don't need them. Um, but in the woods, they're nice to have if you're following friends. 
keeps your hands from uh, catching rocks, vines, uh, branches, you know, low-hanging branches as you're riding through uh, untraveled trails and such. These are just, they're great to have, and they look pretty cool too. So that's kind of where I'm at on this side of the handlebars. If we move over to the right side on the Suzuki here, um, the stock Suzuki, for whatever reason, they like to run these, they like to run, um, this is, this is the, this master cylinder is off, is off of a TRX 450R. And the reason I like them is because they're bare aluminum. You can get them for like 15 bucks on eBay used. You clean them up. You don't have that paint like Suzuki uses. It gets all like gummed up around the lip right here. I just, and I think Yamaha uses it too. I, I think my Raptor 700 had it as well. It just starts to corrode and looks really, it just looks like crap. So I always like to switch them out to these. When, when I'm doing the brake, when I'm upgrading the brake lines to stainless and everything, I always put a Honda uh, 450R master on them. The, the 250R is the exact same one. Then, uh, again, Power Mad Star Series. Uh, I run the uh, adjustable, adjustable uh, length lever for the 450R master. Um, I like the stock dust, dust boot that's on it. I don't have the switch underneath there anymore. I always usually get rid of my tail lights. It's just not needed. Um, and then, uh, of course, the crown jewel to me is the Hermosi throttle. It's just, this is the game changer right here. Um, a lot of videos on it, but basically you can, you can custom set your height, and then you have three preset positions where you can adjust, the, adjust them on the fly. I have it set to where I, mine's always in the middle position, and then if I get tired at the end of the day, I can move forward and cruise back to the truck in comfort so that's kind of that is kind of my bar setup a lot of people like asv levers nothing wrong with those kind of gimmicky on a quad you really don't need breakaway levers on a quad in my opinion on a dirt bike i could see it being a little more valuable uh if you're you know dumping it all the time a quad yeah kind of gimmicky a little expensive too so that's my take looks good uh function over form it's kind of how Everything's purpose built, and then of course uh, I run a I just run a Tusk uh, kill switch right here, and then on the aftermarket stems, no matter what stem I get, if it's not a Lone Star or whatever, I'll either I'll always get the Lone Star anti vibe clamp with the built-in tether um, plate here. That way, it just takes it off the handlebars. So that's another tip for you guys if you have an aftermarket stem and you want to get the and you want to run one of these in case you ride at a track that requires a kill tether. And nerf bars most track a lot of tracks are, are um, really clamping down on atvs so uh don't give them an excuse not to let you ride i'll always be prepared so always have one of these on your quad ready to go plus they're just good to have if you're riding with some friends that get a little nuts it's good to have that <laughs> it's good to have that hooked up to you so that's my bar setup um like i said if you guys have any questions comments leave it down below and I will try to help you out. Email will be in the description. Thanks, guys.